Hey everybody, it's uh, TM, she, her. Something, something special about this music here. It's a, it's a shame it's about to be ruined. Oh, Disney Interactive. A to M. It's Disney's, or Walt Disney Pre Pictures Presents Chicken Little, also known as Disney's Chicken Little. Uh, this was a 2005 movie based on the classic folk tale of Chicken Little, and was Disney's second CGI animated movie after Dinosaur, which most people might better know now for the theme park ride. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a pretty bad movie. Uh, the plot is kind of a mess, like, there's this whole thing in, like, the first half. Ooh, actual saving! Well, they really... They broke the bank on this one. Uh, well, its main menu is not very, uh, obvious. Dodgeball game. Extra. Okay, options. Anyways, the movie's pretty bad, like, the whole first... First, like, 30 minutes is like about Chicken Little disappointing his dad and playing baseball and then the rest of the movie is actually about the sky falling and it gets like this like sci-fi thing. Uh, the jokes are pretty bad. It's kind of like, again, we don't like to use problematic so let's just call it what it is. It's kind of misogynist the way they treat Foxy Loxy. <laughs> and like, at the end, she gets, like, brainwashed, and everybody's like, we like her better this way! And it's like, she's brainwashed, you guys. <laughs> it's a little screwed up. Oh, it tells you what the thing is at the bottom. Oh, I didn't see that. We're just gonna do story anyways. Anyways, it's not, it's not the worst Disney movie, but it's in, like, the top five worst, for sure. Should I go to the Cluck House? Or the General Store. Let's start at the Cluck House. Also, we learned, look at the Wikipedia page, Chicken Little's real name is Ace Cluck, and I don't think we ever knew that before. It's been a year since the incident. But don't you worry about it, son. The garage door's stuck. Okay. So this takes place after the movie. That's, that's kind of cool, right? Whoa, I never would have guessed I could jump. Can I double jump? Oh my god. Wow, this is actually some nice animation. Like, look at the... Look at, like, the flop on his crown. Can I get those... Hey, how do I get those acorns? Oh, I don't like that sound, though. slow too. Whoa! Oh, we use acorns to buy things at the general store. Okay. Like, it... I get what they're doing with this whole ledge hang thing, but it's like... It's just extra time when you could just make the platform a little sw smaller. You know? Oh, a secret ladder. We are secret ladder. Hope you do not clatter. This is a not-so-secret ladder, huh? <laughs> I didn't even need the tutorial on that one. Yo-yo! Now, how do I use yo-yo? I, I hit B before and it didn't let me. I don't think it let me do it until I hit the thing. So we got a charge attack. Destroy our piggy bank, which has nothing in it, apparently. Oh, that's how you that's how you get height here. Wait, can I get those uh Oh, those are silver eight points too. Well well well. Now to reset all the fuse switches and get that garage door open. 
Wow, I could have never guessed. <laughs> Keep hitting all the tutorials, and then while it's telling me what to do, I'm just like, they're done. Haha! Oh. <laughs> Destroyed that trash can. Gotta leave trash all over the attic. Haha! <laughs> Okay, so far it's kind of again. It's kind of slow because because of all the ledge grabbing Having to pull up. I don't think we need so dang much of it Okay. Do you want me to do that on it? Want me to do that on this side? No? Okay I did it on it before. Maybe I was facing the wrong way? Oh, oh. Like, every ledge needs to be grabbed. It's just, it's just an extra action, you know? That's, just, that's why I bring it up. Best acorns in the universe. I didn't even check to make sure my achievement was working, but I guess they did. these deer real quick. Okay, so we can go... What can we buy at the general store? Buy upgrades for chicken little. Buy upgrades for ace. Commander ace. I guess at some point we'll also play as fish out of water, huh? Okay. Health. Health. Oh, oh. Health. Okay. That's all to buy there, and then everything else is stuff for the mini games. Wait. What sky falling incident happened before? So, wait, this isn't after the movie? Okay. This, this is during the movie. I figure out there's a first incident. Like, I just... It's not a big part of the movie. I guess it's... I guess I kind of vaguely remember it from the prologue. He thinks the sky is falling. But I don't... I don't really remember that. TBA, TBQH. What's up here? Oh, acorn. Okay. Can I get on top of this one, too? up here? Knock that. Destroy that light bulb. There's some real work put in. Into the sewers. Destroy light bulb. Uh, don't sink. Don't sink on me. Destroy that light bulb. That gave me health that I can't grab from here. Fascinating. Uh, can I get up? Okay. Yeah. How are you? I guess I defeated that kid. I guess that's like the mayor's car, because like the mayor is uh, the turkey. I, we always thought this was Don Knox's final role, and it was like his final role while alive, but apparently he had like one more that we didn't know about in like one of the Snow Buddies movies. One of those Air Bud ripoff, not ripoff, spin offs. Not ripoffs, they're actually owned by Disney. <laughs> the beam of the camera. Chicken Lil can't get hit by the flash, but he can see it at the speed of light. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, it doesn't sink all the way. So he could just turn into Ace? Now, in the movie, Ace is just a thing in the. Ace is like a movie version of the actual events that plays at the end. And like Ace is played by uh, Adam West. Oh, I need to be faster if I want to get that, huh? Oh. Should I try? I'll give it one try. I'll give it one try. 
We don't actually know how Drake's one dance goes. <laughs> but imagine we were ripping on that. But yeah, that's kind of weird to give him, just give him turn into Ace. So we've also played the Chicken Little console game, and in that you just... The Ace is only at the end of that game. Like, it's just a mini game at the end. It's hard to. I think that's where he's got stuck playing it. Uh, Chicken Little console game was actually alright. But, you know, it's still based on Chicken Little, which is a god-awful piece of shit movie, so... Gotta say, I also don't hate his dad yet playing this game, which is a major problem because everybody knows uh, Chicken Will's dad is the real, real villain of that movie. That's the thing, the movie kind of lacks, uh... Well, it gets in this weird, like, comedy sci-fi bit, and we remember, like, all the posters showed, like... Not all the posters, but they had, like, this poster showing, like, Chicken Little and Friends as, like, Men in Black. It's like, you're trying to play off of, like, being Men in Black animated comedy, but Men in Black's already, like, a comedy. Oh yeah, I got the trophy! Yeah! I don't know what that does, but I got it. Yippee! all we have, really have to say about it is it's okay. Uh, like, our initial thought is just, you know, it's not doing anything wrong, but it's also, like, it's a Chicken Little game. <laughs> but, like, it's clearly, on the developer side, this has clearly really tried to capture the character in the movie, and, like, that uh, life graphic in the upper left looks kind of bad, but everything else kind of captures the uh, the aesthetic of the movie quite well. And it uh, it looks like you know it's it's hard to capture a CGI movie in a 2D space, but I think this game did it quite well. Again, that all being said, I don't care about the movie, but <laughs> I think it's a good adaptation so far because work has been done to make it feel like the movie. What the fuck? Okay. Got one of those classic disappearing platform puzzles. It's not a puzzle. Ah! I didn't expect that branch to fall on me. Gotta be careful around uh, loose branches, kids, or else they'll fall on you and you'll lose a whole chunk of health. And your parents will notice that chunk is missing. <laughs> as long as you don't also lose a chunk of your body. Oh my goodness. I'm very bad at avoiding those. So Chicken Little's uh, passage to school has apparently taken him to the fields? I don't think his school was outside of town in the movies. In the movie. I don't know why I said movies. I imagine if they made the ch second Chicken Little movie. That was kind of when, around the time they were stopping doing uh, their straight-to-video sequels, too. Because we remember when uh, certain someone who was no longer involved with that company or Pixar took over. He was like, let's... Let's stop doing the straight-to-video movies. <laughs> and stopped everything except for Tinkerbell. And now they make Disney Plus series instead. <laughs> I think Monsters at Work was kind of the quality of, like, a straight-to-video Monsters, Inc. movie. <laughs> Some people really liked Monsters at Work, and I get it, but... Man, I don't get it. <laughs> It's... it's fine, but too much time is spent on Tylor, and he's boring. When 
all the more interesting characters get kind of sidelined because of that. I hope if they're supposed to make a second season of that. I hope Tyler is just not in it. Like I don't even know what you do with him in it. Can't cut achievement. There we go. Oh boy! Now he shows up to gym class and gets dodgeballed. If this is like the movie. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, here's Foxy. Foxy Loxy's looking a little rough. These don't look too good because they just took the images from the movie, but. Uh, I didn't lose my yo-yo. I have it right here. Give it back, Foxing. Yay. You just gotta win that dodgeball, you guys. Uh, it's not telling me the rules of dodgeball. And he, he threw that, like, overhand? What? 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 Oh, you're on. I'm on your. You're on my team. Okay, apparently. Okay, so this. So the people on the sides are working for either us or Foxy, respectively. Well, not quite respectively. I like this. Uh, these RPG numbers going on here. Oh. That directly to me, Foxy. Okay, I think I learned how to catch the dodgeball. Uh, this kind of sucks, and I'm really surprised they built a mini game, a whole mini game around it. It better be baseball. That's what. I okay, we're gonna play this game long enough to make sure there's a baseball mini game, because that's that's what Chicken Little's really all about is the baseball scene. Didn't they even get that in uh, Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> Chicken Little is a summon in Kingdom Hearts too, and it's so dumb. They they literally just did that to promote the movie. Get it? Get it? Why didn't you grab it, kitty? So in the dodgeball scene in the movie, it's like Chicken Little and his friends just playing dodgeball and getting bullied because they're the nerds and the losers. I, I'm fine with how they've done it here, but I do think they should have at least put your friends on the sidelines instead of the cats. Like, I want to see, like, Goosey Lucy or whatever. Is there, no, it's Ugly Duckling. I think Goosey Lucy is in the movie, though. Uh, so the other thing with Chicken Little is that it kind of breaks the... One of you idiots needs to grab it. I can't... There we go. So the other thing with Chicken Little is it kind of breaks the moral of the, uh, <laughs> original story. Because the story is like, don't freak out over nothing, you know? Folktale is like, don't get everybody in a kerfuffle over nothing. Which I think still needs to be said because people do that on, like, social media all the time. They'll just post like, hey, this thing is definitely happening, and then it's like you don't have a source or anything for this thing happening. You've just made this up in your mind. So I think that could still be, that's still a good thing to tell, to say, like, sometimes you gotta not panic over everything, but in the movie it's like, oh, actually things are happening, and it turns into more of a... I guess more of a Boy Who Cried Wolf story, but then it's mostly just about, like, Chicken Little's dad. Oh, whoa! Oh. Yeah, he was Ugly Duckling. <laughs> okay. Bye. Abby. I guess they're just gonna go on. Oh, kid and dance! Kitty dance! Yeah! But yeah, I guess they're just going on a date. Okay. Baseball! Yeah! Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. It just kind of breaks the moral of 
the original story. <laughs> it becomes more about, like, Chicken Little's dad, like, believing him. I'm like, that's fine, but it's not the story anymore. But that's, you know, that's what Disney does all the time. Popcorn. That chickens would love popcorn. Better get to the dugout. So am I actually going to get to play baseball, or am I just going to get to the baseball game? That's so, that's so important to our adaptation score. Honestly, this, this will probably score pretty well with adaptation. It's, it's not really doing anything above and beyond, but... Whoa. It's, it's fine. <laughs> No, oh, oh, like, it, it's just doing what it needs to. Oh, okay. So, oh. oh! I am getting smacked. I am getting smacked. It looks like something I can climb, but I can't get up there, can I? Not from here, at least. Uh oh. I ran right into that. I was just running. What is this? Am I going into the stands? Uh. What? Oh! Oh! I can get up here. Okay. Can I smack you? Yeah! Smacking dogs. Uh, did Chicken Little even have a yo-yo in the movie, by the way? I don't remember. <laughs> it's not been that long since we've seen it. We did rewatch it in, uh... At some recent year, because Jay had never seen it. We were like, oh, you gotta see Chicken Little, it's so bad. Like, we made him watch that. <laughs> we didn't make him watch it, okay. We don't make him watch things. He has a choice. But he likes bad things as much as we do, and we were like, you gotta, we got Disney Plus, and we were like, okay, you gotta watch Chicken Little, and you gotta watch Cars 2, and you gotta watch Good Dinosaur. And that was kind of the uh, trifecta of bad things he had never seen before, and I think his feelings were just like, yep, those sure were pretty bad. <laughs> maybe he'll, maybe he'll watch the video and show up in the comments. Uh, what else can I say about Chicken Little? Um, that one guy's in it. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see what's back here. Nothing? Looks like nothing to me. I'm on the fence again. Sat on the fence, but I don't want to help. Chicken Little with the yo-yo, like, Bridget. <laughs> we got some brisket action going. Check out that. I don't know fighting game terms. Check out that neutral. <laughs> uh, what was I guess? Oh, yeah. What is his name? Um, the guy who plays Runt of the Litter, he's also in, uh, That Thing You Do. He has a very distinctive voice. We kind of... I don't know if we like him, but we remember watching that thing you do and going, what, like, why does that guy sound so familiar? And then look it up, it's like, it's Run of the Litter! I wonder how he feels about, uh, Chicken Little. <laughs> I wonder how anybody feels about that. Like, Zach Braff. Zach Braff was Chicken Little in that. Um, a Gary Marshall as his father. The late Gary Marshall. The late... <laughs> Gary Marshall's movies are not not great. I think most people most people accept that. But he's still, you know, he's still a beloved man. I'm not gonna say like I'm not gonna piss on this man's legacy. It's just, you know. I forget what we were watching directed by him. We watched like a minute of it and we're like, this is pretty bad. Yeah, 
Zach Braff as Chicken Middle. I think this was kind of meant to be his, like, big step into a post-Scrubs career, and instead he kind of just never... He kind of just disappeared. Like, I know Zach Braff's still done stuff, but he's... I, I, like, I see him doing the, like... ads with, uh... Turk, Donald Faison, nowadays. Like, they both just... Oh, I didn't know that would hurt me. They both just ended up in that, like... ad space. And that's not a good place for your to career to go. I like how these levels have a lot of... branching paths and stuff. I don't... I don't love this game, but... I don't hate it. It's... It's like... Well, we'll get to the... We'll get to the ratings, won't we? But... Like, it's not bad. It's just... It's fine. <laughs> I think if you were a kid who's, like, obsessed with Chicken Little, you'd love this game. Like, Chicken Little... Like, again, the we played the console... Oh my goodness. We played the console game. Where is it? There it is. And it's... It's not great, but it's it's fully acceptable. It's fully playable. Disney used to do Disney used to get uh, some pretty decent pretty decent games out, honestly. They've kind of stopped that, and that's always made us sad. Like they did Disney Infinity for a bit, was supposed to kind of be the new way to do those, and then Toys to Life crashed, and since then Disney's just kind of mostly stepped out of making games, not that, like, we're finally starting to get back into them with, like, um, Dreamlight Valley, and I don't think I could pass Foxy, <laughs> um, Speedstorm, but it's, it's a very different type of game now, because it's no longer, like, it's not like we're getting, like, the Encanto video game, or the Turning Red video game. Turning Red would have made a killer video game, by the way. Like, imagine, imagine getting to, like, switch between Panda and Normal. Or just levels where you get to run around as Panda. Oh, that would be so good. Like, Turning Red would have made a good game. Ryan, The Last Dragon would have made a good game. Uh, Ralph, both the Ralph movies? I think the first Ralph did get a video game, but it was on, like, it was, like, a budget title for Wii, so I, we don't really count that. We'll probably play it at some point, you know. But, yeah, we're just... Hey, 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 nice, and nice, and nice. But yeah, we're just kind of sad that... It used to be any Disney movie you would get a game, and then that stopped. And as someone who enjoys licensed games for what they are, that just makes us sad. That's kind of kind of why we started this project, honestly. Because we wanted to... You're just going to wait for me, huh? I'm not going to wait for you. Uh, just wanted to go back and start to get back to this... Like, the licensed game hole is just us enjoying the glory of licensed games once again. Bring us, bring us back to those days when we go to Blockbuster and we'd be like, Oh man, the Chicken Little game. We just watched that movie and it was so bad, but there's a game? There's a game? Let's play the Chicken Little game. And then we play the Chicken Little game. You know? Oh, where am I going? Oh, I had to actually talk to Foxy. Oh, so I could have just talked to her before, but I did that whole thing where I went around like this... If you're looking for, like, all the acorns, there's a lot to find here, I think. <laughs> Simon Sloth. We gonna play baseball. Check out my slow ball. Here it goes. So then it goes at like one, one mile per hour. 
Uh, let's give Chicken Wheel some health. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna play. I, I saw baseball. Oh, this has like... This looks like it has two... Oh, we're ace now, for some reason? That's some bad potato salad. Didn't agree with me. Wait! Stomach clenching? Fishing swooning? Um, so in the movie, Ace is voiced by Adam West, and I think that's funny because we've also been playing Lego Batman 3 where you can find Adam West. So they also made, like, an Ace video game. So Chicken Little got, like, two video games. Not not counting this one. Not counting... I like his shorts. It just looks like he's running around in his boxers. But yeah, like, it got two console games, which is crazy. Oh, I can double jump. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But yeah, it had one where you played as, like, Ace and crew, and there was kind of this fun story where, like... It was a game Chicken Little and his friends were playing, so you'd get these moments where you go back to the house and it's like, yeah, I'm reading the manual and I don't get this part, or whatever. But they'd be reacting to the story. And I don't know how Chicken Little got such a fun piece of, like, tie-in media. <laughs> I think Chicken Little did actually do pretty well for them at the box office. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it, I think it did, I think we read it was like the second highest grossing anime movie of the year. I don't know what the first was, sorry. Probably like a DreamWorks movie. <laughs> the 2000s would die our times for Disney, and I know people would be like, "Oh, the 2000s. I love the 2000s Disney movies." It's like I get why you like them, but Disney, nothing felt Disney at that time. And I include, like, Emperor's New Groove is great. It's not a Disney movie. It doesn't feel Disney. It, it's a funny movie. It's, it's funny and anarchic. Like, it feels like a Looney Tunes movie is the problem. It, it doesn't have, like, that Disney moment where, like, you actually, like, cry, you know? That, that's what makes a Disney movie to us, is there's gotta be a moment when even in the adults in the audience are, like, holding back tears. And, uh... Yeah, a lot of that... Like, Emperor's New Groove doesn't have that. I'd say Lilo and Stitch and Treasure Planet are closer to... Disney, although they still have their problems. What's with the uh, GBA licensed games in Mario Galaxy, huh? Do you guys even know about Mario Galaxy yet? I don't think you did. Where, where do we go from here? Oh wait, I can grab a trial on. Oh, yeah, so that's like those uh, evil robots that the evil people in the movie use, but they're not actually evil. Doesn't Patrick Stewart voice like the dad alien? So, like, there's this whole alien... Spoilers, I guess, if you care about a, like, 15-year-old bad Disney movie. Um, there's this whole plot, like... So, like, a piece of the sky does fall, but it turns out to be part of an alien spaceship is the thing, and, like, Chicken Little and his friends find, like... Um... This little guy, this little fuzzy guy, he's very QTBH. But it turns out he's like the child of like the aliens, and the aliens start this whole invasion, and they have to get the child back so they stop the invasion. And that's also how Foxy gets brainwashed by the aliens, and she becomes like this subservient, like, good girl. And then he's like, oh, I love you, want that the widow? And everybody's like, no, keep her like this, and Runt's like, she's perfect. It's like, that's kind of creepy. That's a, that's a little rapey, dude. <laughs> like, it's, it's bad. 
right. We're, we're like, we wish Chicken Little was a little worse a movie because of stuff like that. But it's mostly just, it's just an obvious mess and a rush to make like a CG movie. Disney was genuinely in some dire straits in the 2000s, like... It's like, why don't they make another Treasure Planet? Because it bombed really bad. When they first started, like, talking about the live-action remakes, we remember people, like, doing the thing where it's like, make Atlantis, make Treasure Planet, it's like, do you want that? Do you actually want this? <laughs> And I think, I don't think people have learned because we just saw someone doing, like, make a Disney Plus sequel to Princess Diaries. It's like, you want this? Disney will make it for you. It won't be good. Us, us and other fandoms like Hocus Pocus and Enchanted aren't quite happy, but... <laughs> if you want it, Disney's there for you. They'll make your shitty movie. Oh, you shot at me. Yeah. Cool. I like this. Uh, this is, this is pretty fun. <laughs> I like this more than the regular chicken little part, actually. So I guess all we've seen that all we've not seen that's in the thing is uh, fish out of water, huh? Uh, so let's... Should I do it? Should I ask for it? I don't know. We'll, we'll save it for the end. That's, that's what I'll do. All our videos are kind of chaotic and confused. <laughs> We've got like 5,000 things to talk about at any moment. Sometimes we talk about nothing. Like, I like all the gravity things here. It's pretty easy to control. I like shooting. This game's... This game is fun? <laughs> I don't think it's quite remarkable. It's not remarkable. Like... It's... It's fun, but if you're above the age of five, you can probably think of a better game than this. <laughs> Not the Tachyon Field. Oh, it's the, yeah, it's the evil alien, I guess. I can't do anything. Are you just showing off your, okay. Now I can do something. He just showed off his shield for like a second though. Oh, you can uh, shoot, huh? Oh my God, he's got the, He's got attacks! Whoa! This guy's powerful. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, is there, like, health on the ceiling? No, there is not. Okay, I gotta... Chicken Little's dick? Well, I guess he's not Chicken Little here. Ace... Commander Ace's dick? There we go. Yeah, like, any time I shoot him, he does that, uh, spike thing, and that's really hard to avoid. So I'm just kind of staying, staying active, I guess. Oh, my God. Okay, directly below him is safe. Yeah, he shoots in, like, that star. It's like those things from, uh, Sonic 2 on the... Scrap, no, uh, Metropolis Zone? Maybe? Okay, CN, CN gives me the nod. It's probably Metropolis Zone I'm thinking of. Oh, 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 don't do that. Yeah, you gotta shoot, and then you gotta run for cover. And you got another shield up, all up here. Oh, 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 oh. 
No, don't tumble jump into it. Okay. This is tough. <laughs> Didn't think the uh, Chicken Little would throw a tough boss at me. Uh, you done? No, phase two. Oh my god. Oh, he's really going for it now, huh? Going pink. Pink, like the color of my boss. Oh boy. Okay. I hit him on the run. I hit him on the run, baby. Cause that's the way you want it, baby. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna get me. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Okay. Oh, I walked into that. Oh, he has one shot left. Yes! I got him! Face hugging embryo babies. <laughs> Now we just go to the spaceship. There's quite a bit of movie in between here. How much, how much game is there? I don't know. Um, I think we're gonna call it here. Let's give, let's give you some more health. Actually, I want to know one thing. I want to go to the spaceship for one reason, and that's to see if this is the fish out of water thing. Yeah, you did baseball off screen. Spice Girl Willis. Spice Girls was pretty, pretty out of date in, yeah, that was pretty out of date in the 2000s, Run to the Litter. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't Joan Cusack play, uh, Ugly Duckling, and then I think Amy Sedaris was, uh, Foxy Loxy? Yep. Fish is flying on the thing. I remember that happening. It's... Fish out of water is like the best character. He doesn't speak. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are fish. Okay, okay. I was like... So I was gonna stop, but I was like... Gonna do a thing like, I don't know, maybe we'll see fish out of water. Uh, ow. Uh, this... This is confusing. Oh, grind, grinding it, yeah. We're playing Tony Hawk again. Been watching a uh, old Tony Hawk speedrun marathon. That's been a lot of fun. Love the Tony Hawk games. We played. Uh, this happened on stream, so it's not. So we don't have a video of it, but we did play Tony Hawk 2 on the GBA quest. And there are a lot of Tony Hawk games on the GBA, but we only ever hear people talk about two. Really excited to get to more of those sometime. Uh oh. Okay, I maybe want to wait there. Oh. Maybe being a little too chaotic. Okay, what's up here? Health. I don't know what that was, though. What's health for you, fish out of water? Because it clearly wasn't an egg. Is it, like, fish food? Kind of looks like fish food. So can I go back and forth? Yeah. Hmm, I wonder if all these embryos, I'm gonna have to, like, seek them out, or if they're all just gonna kind of be in the path. Well, one way to find out, and that's to keep playing. Is that it? I only need one snack? Okay, I thought I had to snack a bunch the first time, but I guess not. Okay, we wait here. Play smart. Don't play smart. I don't care. It's my game. It's 
my game, Mom. Father, Mom says it's my turn to play Disney's Chicken Little on the GBA. I love playing fish out of water. No, I get the fish out of water stage. That's what we decided last time. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> kind of like, kind of like Sonic, honestly. I like it. It's like Tony Hawk Sonic. Yeah. Sometimes those things blow up on me, and I don't know why. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard I try. That, I can make that jump. I just have to... Oops, I won't make it that way. just have to watch I don't get caught in the curve going down. Hup. Yeah! Combo! 200 times combo! 300 times combo! Uh, I'm missing an embryo. I am dead-ended in this corner, huh? Okay. Well, let me, let me find that last embryo, I guess. Oops, skate down here? Troll, why not? Why shouldn't I skate down here? Not for sure that was gonna zap me. Okay, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go down, I guess. We've kind of seen up. Oop, that's too far down. Okay, so it keeps how many embryos we got. See, there's a... Oop. Oh. That's nice. There's a rail up there. I kind of want to get to. But I don't know how. Oh, what if I go left here? Yep, that that would do it. At least get me somewhere new. I'm just going lightly into these, trying not to get hurt by that explosion or whatever. Whatever hurts me. Okay. Um, there's one more place I can check, which is... Oop. See, there's another rail going that way. So I can go, like, up. What's over here? Aha! Okay. So, like, in the movie, he just kind of starts skating on the thing, and he just, that just takes him to the spaceship, I think. He, he, I don't e even know if he intends to, like, skate onto the spaceship, or if he's just doing things. It's that, it's that kind of movie, to me. I mean, again, Fish Out of Water doesn't speak, so he's... I remember at the animation thing, when they still had the animation thing at uh, Hollywood Studios, they did a pre they had a preview of Chicken Little at one point, and the person there was like, Fish Out of Water is my favorite. He's in the thing the whole time, and that person was right. Uh, this spring brought me back up here? Okay. Uh, let me get out of this pit, please. I don't know where we're going. I, I really wish I had a map. And I do not. Okay. Is anything down here? Yes! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ah. Blub room. Blub. <laughs> the cornfield. I don't know how much game is left, but I'm gonna call it here for now. Um, I'll even you off. Uh, so adaptation. I think this game gets a four. Fun. Uh, it kind of kills me to say this, but I think it's a 4. I think it's a 4. I think it's kind of like a 3.5. 
But after playing that uh, ace level and that fish out water level, it's a four. Uh, the game has enough variety to be interesting. The levels are big and fun and full of interesting obstacles that suit each level. That's a real big thing here. Uh, it follows the story of the movie nicely, even though there's no baseball minigame. Little upset about that, there's no baseball, but we did get dodgeball, and it's the GBA. You gotta kinda do what you can. So I think putting in any minigame is good, and dodgeball was okay. Uh, but yeah, this game's kinda good. <laughs> it's not great. I don't think you need to rush out to play it, but it's kinda good. Um... How about this? If, they, if this video gets like five likes, I'll, we'll do we'll do the corn we'll do the rest of the game. How about that? I don't know how much game is left. But this has got to be like at least halfway, so there can't be much left. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and we will see you again next time for more more trips into the hole. Bye, y'all.